advice do I have for people pursuing actuarial science? So uh, yes, I would say that it, it requires a lot of commitment, a lot of dedication. Uh, and I'm not saying that nobody, nobody has it from the start. Everyone develops it. So uh, don't be like, I don't have it or I don't have it in me to get it there. Or even if you have started the journey and you feel you have a lot of setbacks, don't feel that, you know, you don't have the, you just don't have it in you because nobody has it in them. They, they kind of create it for them, I would say. Uh, so I would say whenever you get into that, uh, stuck in that circle, I would say that you don't know how to get out, out of, ask for help. I think that's the, that's the major thing I would like to say is, reach out, like, you know, um, reach out to go on LinkedIn, reach out to individuals uh, like yourself, me, uh, myself. Uh, there's so many other out there who are willing to help or willing to give some advice uh, and uh, and take advice from them. And, uh, and I would say most of the time, it's not because it's not in you. It's about the discipline required. It's about the commitment required that you're not willing to give. And that's completely fine. I'm not saying that anything is wrong with that, not giving the commitment. It's just that then you have to figure out which area of your life you want to commit to. So it may be that actual science is not for you. Maybe you don't want to pursue something else, but just the heads up on a game that actual science is definitely a lot about commitment. It's the journey. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. Uh, a lot of individuals, uh, think that, uh, you know, they want to get it done in four years, three years. I have even hear crazy people saying three years, two years. I'm like, this is not a, this is not a sprint. And that's where they burn themselves out. And uh, they're taking multiple exams in, a, in one sitting, uh, just trying to kind of beat the clock. Uh, and what that does, there's, it does two things. Uh, be that, uh, first of all, it definitely burns them out, but people around them, let's say if I had a friend who, who told me that he wants to write his exams in two years, it would freak me out too. It would, I would be like, wow, I, I think I need to pick up my battle too here because uh, this guy is taking it in two years and it stresses out everyone, right? Uh, so uh, first of all, if you are that individual, you're saying that you want to run at a sprint, I would say it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. So break it down. And for an advice to an individual who is among these kind of individuals, who is kind of saying, uh, so they're among the group in which some of the individuals are saying, oh, they want to complete it in a sprint. I would tell you, don't stress out. I would say everybody has a journey. Uh, a fellow at an age 23, doesn't mean that he has a better life or he or she has a better life than a fellow at age 32. Like I personally feel everybody has their own track. Uh, everybody has their own, what I call it, a timeline. Uh, and nobody is better than the other. It's just they are following their own timeline. So that's the advice I would give to people following the path and uh, getting into the path that that's what you can expect. Uh, definitely reach out to another student, I would say, first and foremost, because they're closer to the exam process. A lot of people reach out to someone like you or I and which is great like I try to help as many people as I can but like they've added exams since I went through it and they ch changed a bunch of them I don't know the acronyms anymore um so reach out to someone closer to your level like a year or two ahead of you in university or someone younger that is like willing to help you out there's a lot of great resources online now that didn't exist back when like you and I started um and figure out if you're going to like it, like ask the, ask them the questions you want to know, like be real, like how much effort do you put into this? How much time does it take you to study? Um, what would you do if you fail an exam? Like find, ask the questions that you're thinking in your head, because it's better to find out near the beginning that this isn't for you than to be like one exam away. And then be like, I don't know if I want to be an actuary, like you're going to put in a lot of time. Um, so figure out if it's what's something that you want now, but having that support system is so important when you're becoming an actuary, like finding a good mentor, having a good group of friends who are writing the same exams as you is so beneficial because no one really knows what we go through unless you've done it as well. Um, no one understands that like <laughs> you spend six nights a week studying, eating cereal for dinner and you get to the one night you have off, you play a sport just because you have to do some kind of activity to stay <laughs> healthy. Um, or something like, and it, it can be anything just to stay sane. I think like, um, my friends didn't really get it. Like, they'd be like, what do you mean you can't go out this weekend? It's like, no, like my exam's in a month. Like I need to study. And they're like, it's in a month. Like <laughs> no one, <laughs> other actuarial people understand it, but people in other professions don't. Well, general advice for newbie on the actual path. I would say first is to do your research and see if this is the path for you. So I believe that there are so many career options out there and at the end of the day, according to the Japanese uh, people, the secret of happiness ikaki is to find something that you like to do, you are good at, you meet your financial goal and also uh, it is meaningful. So it's great if you can find them all in your job. So check out my 7 tips on how to choose the right career for you in this video here. And if you are committed to pursue this path, my advice for you is to persist. 
there are many exams that you have to write in this opinion that you failed. So keep going and remind yourself why you want to pursue this path in the first place. And last, don't just study on a time though. An actuary of the future is one that is well-rounded and building good business acumen and soft skill and connection. Uh, so keep that in mind too.